Hey, Steve Mignani here at High Arcane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with The Humbler. The Humbler, which is what Pontiac called its GTO in magazine ads of 6970. And the idea was to humble other muscle cars. Uh, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But with that said, the GTO generally is regarded as Detroit's first muscle car, where you get the big engine in the intermediate sized body, 1964. Now, by 1970, which is the seventh model year for the GTO, sales were still strong, although the party was starting to wind down as the economy, the environment, and all that kind of stuff started to crack down in the muscle car parade. So in 1970, 40,149 GTOs were sold, which wasn't a big number, it wasn't a small number. Uh, of course, a few years later, it would trickle down to nearly nothing. But with that said, 70 was also the premium pinnacle year for the muscle car movement. Now this one here is a standard engine, 400 with 350 horsepower, and there's a lot there to like. It's also a four-speed car, and this is one of 9,348 350 horse standard 400 four-speed cars built. Let's dig in a little bit. Of course, 1970 brought a new Endora front bumper with uh, permanently exposed headlights, 68 and 69, of course, the hideaway headlight option uh, no longer uh, viable. And of course, 1970 Firebird and GTO share very similar themes. You know, again, the stylists were all about creating a brand identity out there on the roads of America. So the Firebird and GTO shared the beak and the ovoid uh, openings, and that was not an accident. It was certainly by design. Sharp marketing on the part of, part of Pontiac. Now the hood here, 1970 final year for the twin bubble uh, type air or hood, 1971 would have a large flat affair, very different, but again, iconic stuff here. Not a Ram air car, so these aren't functional, but they do one thing very well, and that's sell cars. Let's open the hood. And there it is, yeah, the non-Ram air 400, and again, nothing wrong with 350 horsepower, and there's a non-RAM air car. The chrome air cleaner lid and dual snorkel uh, housing are correct. The chrome valve covers are correct. Uh, and underneath that air cleaner is the correct Rochester Quadrajet four barrel carburetor, which is a great carburetor because it has small primaries for good cruising and fuel economy and large secondaries for good wide open power. Uh, this one also has power front disc brakes, which were standard on GTO by 1970, and power steering. Now, I like the fact this car hasn't been messed with, no headers. In fact, it even has the tin heat shields for heating up the carburetor on cold mornings for emissions. Again, they're either original or they're not. But again, this is not a clone. The VIN shows 242 in the first three spots. We look right here. There's the magical 242, and that's the beauty of the GTO. From 66 through 1971, the 242 means GTO, nothing less. Uh, now, this is a beautiful car inside. This is a four-speed car. The four-speed was a $180 option over the three-speed manual. Yes, a three-speed was standard in GTO, but there it is, the Muncie M20 four-speed wide ratio aluminum case transmission. Now, the tachometer in the dash and the gauges underneath are not factory stock items, but they're good to add. They're day two items. Speaking of tachometers, we have a look at the hood. And on the hood is that awesome, you can see it right through the windshield. Hello, hi mom. There it is right there. This is the hood mounted tachometer. This was a factory installed option, uh, 1968, 69, and 70. In fact, 1967, certain GTOs also could be had with this, but it was a dealer installed piece in 67. But uh, moving along, we see just a beautiful saddle tan interior and uh, nicely done quarter panels on this one. The wheels on this are 15 inches. Now keep in mind, 15 inch rims wouldn't arrive on GTO till 71, but there's no harm in retrofitting them to a 70, which has been done here. This would have had 14s from the factory. They would have looked similar, but they wouldn't allow the use of, you know, better BF Goodrich radial TA 15 inch tires, which are better for handling and all the way around. Uh, you can get a 14 inch radial today, which is fine, but it's good to have the 15s on this one. One thing too, at the back, standard equipment in 1970 was the quad tip dual exhaust. Uh, that was not an option, that was standard stuff. Good to see it present and accounted for. And under the back, not to bounce around too much like a roller coaster, but we see that sway bar under the rear axle. That was 
first year stuff, 1970. Before 1970, that was something you'd see like on an old 442. It wasn't standard uh, on GTO, but it became standard in 70, as Pontiac began to lean more toward uh, better handling uh, from the GTO, as well as the Firebird, of course. But uh, inside the trunk, what have we got? Yeah, trunk looks pretty nice. In fact, very nice. Look at that, the Zolotone is there. Uh, nice and crisp, the presentation. Trunk mat is looking very good. It's new, it's a correct uh, reproduction piece. That's all good. And I like this, the, uh, the style steel wheel is a 15, so it's a match to the four on the car. So if you wanna rotate them or just happen to need this, should you get a flat, you got the right wheel and tire, and it's uh, not gonna stand out uh, as a temporary replacement like a steel wheel would. So uh, it's a nice clean example of the Humbler for 1970. Again, 74 would be the end of the line for the GTO until you get into the 21st century. Uh, but again, 1974, the GTO is based on the Nova, the Ventura 2. But that said, this is one of the last, 1970, the Humbler. Great example, four-speed car, 400 base engine, 350 horse, lot to like, nice restoration. And uh, this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down, and High Octane Classics will deliver this car anywhere. Uh, and it also, you can do some trading if you want. You have something interesting to trade, a, a classic, a cruiser, a late model, whatever it might be, High Octane will consider trades. So to learn more about this car, well, check it out on the High Octane Classics website. Thank <laughs> you.